question number four. So five over three minus two x uh, less than one minus two over three x less than or equals to two minus x. Hence, list the integral values that va that uh, satisfies the inequality. Uh, so you learned about inequalities. We have uh, g uh, less than less than or equals to greater than greater than or equals to so to be able to get the integral values we will need to first of all we solve this part here the inequality that part here uh, we get uh, 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 the value of x in terms of inequality and then we take uh, the other inequality that is we take these two up to there uh, or rather i can put it up here we take this part those two inequalities we solve and then we'll be able to combine x and be able to get the integral value so we take this one uh this we say five uh that is we say five over three uh, minus two x less than one minus two over three uh, x so we we can put the right terms together that we can take x to the other side or we take it to this other side so we say 2x uh, rather we can say 5 divided by 3 uh, one, when one crosses the, the inequality signs it becomes negative so that is minus 1 when this crosses the, 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 the inequality sign it becomes positive so it is 2x minus 2 over 3 5 over 3, you minus 1, uh, this is 1 and 2 that, so it will be left with 2 over 3, 2 that, less than uh, 2x, here we have x, 2x minus uh, 2 that, 2 that x, this will be 1 and a third x, uh, which we can write in, uh, this is 2 over 3, less than, this is uh, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4 over x to eliminate the values in the fraction here we, we multiply by 3 over 4 and we do the same to the other side that is 3 over 4 so this will be able to get rid of 4 and 3 and then we have uh, uh, here we get uh, divide by 2 is 2 so this will give us 6 uh, and uh, before we do that we cancel 3 by 3 so this one we have cancelled uh, so you get this is 1 over 2 is less than uh, x here will be left with x so we have solved this other part this part uh, the other part is uh, we have a uh, 1 minus 2 over 3 x less than or equals to uh, 2 minus x uh, then we just like we have done here put the right terms together so we take x to the other side it changes the sign to positive so we have x minus 2 over 3 x we take uh, 2 does x to the other side uh, no we take 1 to the other side it becomes minus, minus so less than or equals to 2 uh, and then we have it will be minus 1 so x minus 2 over it will, will be left with a third x uh, less than or equals to 1 2 minus 1 is 1 we multiply both sides by 3 to eliminate uh, a that so we have this goes with a 3 divided by 3 is 1 so we have x less than or equals to a 3 uh, so that is uh, the value of x now we combine this two and we will be able to we can, you write x there x is less than or equals to 3 uh, and here x is greater than uh, a half so since uh, since the x is greater than a half then it means the next value we get is one uh, also two is part of uh, is part of x uh, and because x is re is less than e equals to three that we have an equal sign here so three x also qualifies to be three so the integral values here we get it is they are one two and three and uh, you'll be able to get uh, three marks so you'll be able to get uh, you'll be able to get a mark for a uh, method mark for this 
a method mark for this and one mark for the answer and that totals to three marks so important thing uh, that is how we solve you run to have to solve inequalities in form two and this is what you are being tested in remember paper one uh, you are tested in the work that you covered in form one and form two so you should be able to remember that question number five the size of two interior angles of a of an irregular polygon each measures 90 degrees uh, all the other remaining interior angles each measures 150 determine the number of sides of the polygon and you get uh, you get three marks uh, so what you should remember that you are taught in form 2 is that the sum of the interior angles sum uh, of the interior angles equals to 2 n minus 4 uh, multiplied by 90 degrees so this is the formula that we use for example we know a triangle the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 can be able to show that uh, 2 the a triangle has three sides so we multiply by 3 and uh, we minus 4 and we multiply by 90 so this is equals to uh, 2 times 3 is 6 uh, multiply minus uh, 4 is 2 2 times 2, 90 you get 180 so that is just to show you uh, that this is the, this formula works you can try with uh, with a rectangle which has four sides you'll be able to get the sum is equals to uh, 360 and so on and so on so that just uh, to demonstrate how you apply that formula so we come back to the question so we can be able to show that uh, uh, 2n uh, minus 4 uh, into bracket multiplied by 90 that is the sum of the interior angles is equals to from the information we are given we are told that two two angles uh, it measures 90 so it means we multiply 2 multiply by 90 to be able to get the uh, total of the, the two, two angles then since uh, the number of angles equals to the number of sides so we, what it means is that uh, the number of angles remaining uh, will be n minus 2. Those are the number of angles remaining. And I've said uh, the number of angles equals to the number of sides. Uh, then we multiply by each measures 150. We multiply by, uh, or rather, let's multiply that, uh, to I mean it properly, 150 degrees. So that if we are able now to solve for n, then it will be it will give us the number of sides of the polygon so we multiply 2n multiplied by 90 that will give us 180 uh, n minus 4 multiplied by 90 that will give us minus 360 degrees is equals to uh, 2 times 90 that will give us 180 degrees plus you, you open the bracket uh, n multiplied by 150 that will give us 150 n minus 2 multiplied by 150 that will give us uh, 300 uh, deg 300 degrees so we can put the right terms together uh, so what we do is we take 150 to the other side it becomes uh, negative and we take 360 to the other side so then we end up with uh, 180 uh that is uh 108 n uh, this will be minus we take 150 to the other side 150 n it changes to uh negative minus once it crosses the equal side is equals to 360 changes to positive so we can say 360 degrees my uh, plus uh 180 degrees minus 300 180n minus 150 that will give you 30n is equals to 360 plus 180 that will give you 540 you can use your calculator if you are not able to add up the uh, overhead uh, 540 you minus 300 you end up with 240 degrees uh, so you divide by 30 i uh, divide by 30 you get n is equals to uh, 8 
uh, so n is equals to 8 and that is the we have said uh, a number of sides equals to the number of angles so this means n is also represent eight num eight sides so that's how you work out that so you should be able to get uh, you should be able to get a mark for this method mark uh, method mark and you get one uh, for the answer that totals to three and i hope you have understood so this formula is very important uh, you always remember that formula when you are working with the num the sum of the interior angles of a triangle so i hope it is clear uh, and you have understood how you would have solved that question question number six we are told uh, in a race Kip Sang maintained an average speed of five meters per second when he was uh, 310 to the finishing line Mutunga was 50 meters behind him however Mutunga finished the race 10 minutes ahead of Kip Sang determine the Mutunga's average speed now we can use uh, 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 this demonstration uh, let's say this is uh, Kipsan uh, that is Kipsan so uh, uh, this is where we have the mark of uh, 310 meters uh, then we have uh, we have uh, Mutunga this is a finishing line uh, so uh, at 310 uh, so this is 310 Mutunga was 50 meters behind the behind Kipsang so he was at uh, if you this uh, it was uh, 360 from here to the finishing line uh, to the finishing line this is these are meters Mutunga finished 10 meters uh, when Mutunga finished uh, Kipsang was uh, had uh, there were 10 meters here so this is 10 uh, that means that uh, from 310 here we have 300 and here we have 10 uh, the speed this is a uh, Mutunga rather Mutunga here uh, so it means uh, when Kipsang was at 10 meters to the finishing line Mutunga covered 360 so from here uh, this is uh, this distance here this is 360 uh, this 60 meters not degrees meters Mutunga covered this 300 uh, we have been given the speed of Mutu uh, Kipsang it is uh, 5 meters per second so what let the speed of Kips Mutunga be x so you say uh, you work it like this uh, let the speed of uh, Mutunga be x so we say uh, the time taken by, uh, by Mutunga to cover 360 uh, time is equals to distance over uh, speed uh, so what we do is uh, the distance covered by Kipsang to cover three the time taken by Kipsang to cover 300 uh, meters is uh, 300 divided by 5 the speed is equals to the time taken by Mutunga to cover 360 you divide by the speed and the speed of Mutunga we have said it is x so you cross multiply uh, you cross multiply and say uh, x is equal to uh, 360 uh, you multiply by 5 and you divide by 300 so you can divide that uh, this is 300 divide by 6 is 5 divide by 6 is 6 by 5 is 1 by 5 is 1 so x is equal to uh, 6 so the speed of Mutunga is 6 meters per second uh, so that's how you get the speed of Mutunga um, so <coughs> excuse me what you are being tested here 
is whether you know how to calculate speed and then you should be able to make your argument here to be able to find out the time taken for Mutunga to cover this distance you have to identify the distance covered uh, by Kipsa by Mutunga uh, when when Kipsang was 10 meters to the finishing line and by doing that you'll be able to get uh, three marks